Um, there has been a rising in the, in the alt-right. She's been called out for fueling hate. Now Faith Goldie's words have gotten the far-right commentator and failed Toronto mayoral candidate kicked off Facebook and Instagram. Also banned today, a so-called white nationalist and his organization, and several other far-right groups. Facebook says all six violate the company's policy on dangerous groups. In a statement, Facebook says there's no place on its platform for individuals and organizations who spread hate, attack, or call for the exclusion of others on the basis of who they are. Goldie had to resort to Twitter to respond. Because they have proven themselves to be so terrified and so weak attending the same rally as white supremacist Faith Goldie. News of the ban made it to the House of Commons. The Conservative leader attacked for attending the same rally as Goldie earlier this year. We will always denounce those who promote hateful ideologies while standing up for energy workers. Facebook's move comes on the heels of weeks of criticism after the Christchurch shooting was live streamed for all to see. They wanted people to react. To but at this forum on how to stop online hate, Facebook's decision is met with some skepticism. They're kind of just the tip of the iceberg. There are several other groups out there, some worse than the ones that were removed today, that, that, that still should be removed. But we're cautiously optimistic uh, uh, with this as a first step. It's a fine line, curbing hate while respecting free speech. Still, the Liberal government is applauding Facebook and hoping others follow suit. In Canada, when it comes to hate speech, when it comes to inciting violence, those are things that we don't accept out on the street corner. We shouldn't accept them on platforms either. The minister is also hinting she's open to further regulation so that companies aren't left to police themselves. Something similar perhaps to what the UK is looking at, where social media sites would be forced to pay fines if they don't block hateful propaganda. Salima Shivji, CBC News, Ottawa.